isn't it? So I have a stationery haul video for you today and I'm really excited for this one because it's with a shop that I have loved for so long. I've actually in my offline world have worked with them as well so that's kind of cool but it's Officeworks so unless you live in Australia you may not have heard of Officeworks before basically it's kind of like Staples something like that where it's basically like massive shops and they focus a lot on selling office wear like stationaries, printers, computers, mobile phones, even furniture, office supplies hence the name Officeworks so it really is targeted towards offices but Officeworks is definitely one of my most favorite shops to go to. One of the main things I love about Officeworks is obviously it's Australian. It's based in Melbourne, the head office, but I love their service. Like you can literally, if you live in the metro areas in Australia, you can literally place an order on like sometime on Monday and you will likely get it on Tuesday morning. That's how amazing it is and that might seem normal for a lot of Americans. In Australia that is not normal. Okay, so in no particular order. So the first one I have are these. If you watch my Plan With Me videos and you would have seen these quite a lot. They are whiteout tape and so far this is my favorite brand of whiteout tape because it's very smooth. It doesn't lift very easily and it's very easy to use so I really love this. So these are to just replace the ones I currently have because I'm about to run out. I'm also super interesting and decided to get a whiteout pen by the same company Bic. This is just more to white out fine things like in my bullet journal if I make any minor mistakes and in my Erin Condren. Sometimes the tapes are a little bit too large if it's just like a tiny little like one millimeter thing and I just really want to white it out then I can use this. I also got a bunch of different washi tapes. So I've never heard of this brand before Otto. I think just based on looking at the instructions here I think they're actually an Officeworks brand because um, I know Officeworks do create a lot of their own stationery so I might just open this up so you can have a closer look. So I know when I was there you can get like a range of different colors. There were like 20 or 30 of them but basically it looks like you get multiple. You get like eight washi strips here and you get eight in here as well. This is green blue. They did have different sizes so some of them you might get five but it's because some of the strips were thicker. I just wanted the thinner ones. This is still wrapped in plastic so you will have to open it up and then you can put it back in and then you can just pull the tapes through right here. So I might set this one up just so you guys can see what it would look like. So give me two seconds. <laughs> I don't know if you saw of that. I'm not sure how well it captured, but I don't think this was a very good buy. At least maybe not this dispenser because these tapes tend to get a bit stuck to each other on the side and then they're all kind of having to share this very narrow path to get to the little um, cutter here and so they get stuck together and it's just, it doesn't work. So I do like these and I'm glad I bought them. I think for this green one, I'm going to just get rid of the dispenser altogether and just keep the washi tape as is. And I think I'm going to take all these washi tapes out of this dispenser because I just do not see this working out well. So next one, I got these from Fiber Castell. They are calligraphy brush pens. I am obviously a huge fan of trying to be semi-okay at drawing and calligraphy and all that sort of stuff. So I've been just trying to collect all sorts of different pens, try them out. I don't know. I just love owning them and I love trying them all out. I'm going to include cutaways of me trying each one out so you can see what they look like. I think I'm going to use them in my bullet journals, which is 70 GSM, just to give you an idea on the bleed through. The next set of pens I got were these ones which I'm so excited to try. These are the Crayola Super Tips. A lot of the bullet journal videos I've seen all recommend buying these as great cheap markers to use and I'm so excited. As you know I've invested in a lot of really nice quality markers but also I'm always willing to try this and Crayola holds such a special place in my heart because as a kid growing up as I feel like a lot of people can relate to this Crayola was the brand that we would always use at school. I would color at home with them. I remember they used to have the scented pens. I have no idea if they still have all these. They might for children. Um, the really big textures where the, um, they had scented ones. I love the scented ones and they had little stamp ones where you could stamp like the shape of butterflies or flowers and all that sort of stuff. So every time I go to Target I would beg my parents to buy me some new markers because I loved playing with them. It just feels very nostalgic to come back to Crayola and try out the Super Tips range. I know 
know that you can get this in different sets and I feel like a lot of the bullet journalers online recommend getting the 50 set. Officeworks just don't sell them in 50 set. 20 is the biggest one they have. I've also seen the 100 set as well on Amazon which I actually might end up picking up if I like these because I do want to get more pastel markers or textures and I feel like this range is quite limited for 20 but at Officeworks this was like $15 so I figured you know they'll be worth trying out getting to know and if I really love them I can invest and then purchase the 100 or the 50 which on Amazon is like 15 or 20 dollars so as you can see they're so cost effective and I really can't wait to try these out more and then the last item I purchased was this one it is a beautiful watercolor set I think this was like $15 from Officeworks um, and you can get like a smaller set as well this one is just the 36 colors which is the biggest one they had but you can get them for I'm just gonna zoom out I just feel like I'm a bit too zoomed in but you can get the smaller versions as well if you want a bit more space so I'm really keen to try these out but yeah I feel like a lot of stationary addicts just love this whole like a range of color look like you can see all the colors here and all the colors here and I don't know there's just some weird satisfaction on seeing it and just feeling the sense of completeness so yeah anyways those are all the items I picked up from Officeworks obviously they sell so many more things so you can always check out their website which I'll link down below but I think if you live in America or if you live outside Australia you probably have like your own stationery shop that probably has a bigger variety than Officeworks I always feel like in Australia the lim the range we have in person it always seems to be a little smaller because our market is smaller I love Officeworks and you can tell I'm a big fan <laughs> anyways I hope you guys found this video useful if you have any questions on the items I've purchased here then be sure to let me know I will try my best to answer them and yeah I think that's about it so if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you don't want to miss any of my future videos then be sure to subscribe this is Selena reporting for my room back to the internet <music>